Morning guys. It's Saturday late morning and uh, this cow just came in here. I got these fetch cows up here waiting to come in the robot and this cow just came up here on her own. She came in last night on her own actually and then she walked up here just now, pushed the two-way gate open and entered the robot in that way. Skip the line basically, skip these fetch cows. So I wish all of the cows caught on as quick as this cow. She's doing doing really well. So it's Monday and we're back here in the robot barn. It's late morning. I've been fetching cows all morning. And uh, so yesterday, my strategy was all these fetch cows, I have that pinch gate. I'll bring that pinch gate around and putting the cow right behind the robot. That way when the previous cow exited, she would um, hopefully follow right in behind that cow. And so yesterday it was probably about 80% of them did that and they'd come in just fine. Um, I didn't have to go out there and try to uh, encourage them to go through. But uh, today I've been bringing up these fetch cows and um, just putting them in the fetch pen there, kind of leaving it out like that, bringing in about six at a time or so, and then walking away, going and doing some other chores, or other tasks, or going to the office and doing some office work real quick. And um, anyway, every once in a while I'll just check in to make sure cows are going, and about 80% of them are going through the robot, um, doing it this way. So hopefully this is kind of a work towards baby steps, so getting them to come in a little better. Um, I bet you that cow, her 1169 she's an older cow I bet she won't come in just having her in there like that uh, but uh, those other two might so for sure that one will that one I don't know it'll be iffy on her but anyway it's hopefully baby steps last night we had another uh, new cow come through the robot on her own um, we've probably have five or six that have visited on their own and we got one cow in particular that is visiting frequently on her own. I haven't had to fetch her at all the last three days. She's doing it just fine morning and night, but there's four other cows that have done it themselves at least once a day. And then the other time I had to fetch them and bring them up because um, they're getting, you know, 17, 18 an hour since they've been milked. You need them to keep milking, so. We kind of stopped there. Try to, I don't know if they want more pellets and they bowl goes away and there's no wonder if they can do that. But so, yep, here comes 1342. She's kind of walking just fine on her own. So, and that next heifer is kind of walking up behind her. So, hopefully, that's a good sign that she'll come in too. We will see. So, I just went and grabbed five cows to fetch for the evening and then I went and grabbed a bale of triticale. Uh, and I saw a couple cows walking up to the robot barn. And I was like, oh good, a few cows were walking up there, that's good. Well, then every single cow walked up here to the robot barn. So <laughs> we're gonna find out if anybody's actually going in there. I'm worried that they're all in there and that someone is blocking the one-way gate at the exit so nobody can leave. So I guess we'll find out here. So oh, that is cow 1287. She would have came in on her own. She would have used that two-way gate when it came from the skip the line side. But yes, this cow also used that gate, but she can't exit because everybody is standing right in front of the gate. So this is a problem. The cows will just have to, we're gonna have to get past the fact that they just try to get her. Now I'm gonna leave. I just want to get out of here and be as hands off as possible. But at the same time, we gotta have cows being able to exit because I got all these dang cows up here, so. I don't know. That's gonna be a little bit of an issue, I guess, but I really wish I had a second robot right now because I could really get a lot of cows milk and you know, how they could milk themselves. And it's good, they need to milk themselves. I need to be the heck out of here, but at the same time, I gotta be able to, cows gonna be able to exit, so. I don't know, we'll see what happens here. I may just have to intervene and 
come in here and uh, push cows through every once in a while. So, I don't know. So here she goes. She's exiting. I don't really have anywhere to go. But here came a cow. Also from the two-way gate. This is the cow. This might be, that's the cow that has been milking herself all the time. So she's doing really well. She <laughs> has, I think this would be her fourth milking that she would have done um, in the last 24 hours. And she may have been refused at one point because she wasn't eligible to milk. So she is using the robot fantastically. And so that's great. <laughs> But, uh, so I'm just glad. It might not be a worse thing to have all these cows up here right now because some of these cows that know what they're doing will show other cows what to do. And they're like, hey, hey, I guess this is what we do now. Yeah, this is what we do now. <laughs> so, uh, it's good to see. I don't love all the traffic up here, but I'm, I'm not going to shoot cows out this morning. I'm just going to hang out and I'll just make sure that the uh, one-way exit is not blocked. Guys, it's Wednesday night here at the farm. I uh, dried some cows off today. So with this one robot, we started out with 58 cows, which is a lot, but I wanted to get some of these dry cows, or cows that are about to go dry, um, through the robot so that they could uh, get a taste for it and maybe get a little bit trained to it, to where when they cab back in in September when we're doing grain harvest, it's not such a overtaking or undertaking to try to not only train fresh heifers but also to uh, train some old cows which would be even worse than heifers probably so uh anyway so did that to kind of help us out we just brought some fresh cows up here um these are kind of the troublemakers well the troublemakers ones that don't visit uh very well and aren't coming in through the robot very well on them on their own so Anyway, we're gonna just let them kind of hopefully come through on their own, just hang out and um, maybe wait a handful of minutes. If no one walks in, then go out there, maybe push one in or something. But um, like I said, probably having them in the fetch pen, probably 80% of the cows walk in on their own, but these are like the 20% that still aren't <laughs> doing that very well. So anyway, and then, uh, Hopefully we'll have some more visitors tonight. So anyway, it's slow progress, but it's progress. So beautiful morning, bringing some fetch cows up to the barn. Beautiful sunrise. Some dry cows off there in the distance. You can't hardly see them because the grass is so tall, <laughs> but it's nice and cool this morning. We got, um, three tenths of rain yesterday could have used a little more but it's nice to get what you can there too so we'll take what we get so this cow came in on the run last night at 7 24 came in again at one o'clock in the morning right now it is a little after one o'clock in the afternoon and uh she just came up here about to wash everything down. I'm gonna go down with all the fetch cows and stuff. She just walked up here. Good cow. Just got here at the office this morning and I'm looking at some of the milkings that took place last night. While I was away, well, it's all 58 here. She is a New visitor, she came through at 9, and you can see 1188, 13, 36, 1287, they're all been visiting on their own just fine. They came up around 1130, and they brought two heifers with them who had been coming in pretty well out of the fetch pen. I just, they, they've done well going in on their own out of the fetch pen, but they followed those girls up, and they visited on their own successfully. And then 1258, who figured it out at 9 for the first time, came back at 3 a.m. and brought another heifer with her, too. And that heifer followed her and used it on her own. So I'm hoping that I can just keep... We got about 
12, 13 cows now that are doing it on their own. Uh, so hopefully they can just keep doing that and um, kind of snowball on itself with getting more visitors and then more of those, more and more of those cows that know what they're doing and hopefully more and more of those cows keep following and keep doing it on their own and just snowballs on itself and next thing you know we got hey 70 percent of the herds doing it so we're seeing some progress it's it's good so on saturday morning i just brought up a group of fetch cows a little bit ago got here at 2 a.m um, trying to do the fetch a little different this uh, morning i uh been doing like a uh Fetching some cows at 4 a.m. and then uh, mixing feed, putting on my feed, fetching some more cows afterwards, and maybe doing a little bit in the middle in the middle of the day, and then doing some in the late afternoon and into the evening, um, doing some fetching that away. So trying to switch it up this morning. Didn't do a late night fetch last night, and then uh, trying to do a early morning fetch this morning to kind of keep the cows on their toes. You don't want them to get in a routine and think that we're still in a parlor and he comes and gets us on a regular schedule here. So trying to do it a little different. Uh, weather's kind of messing us up a little bit too. Uh, it's a high of 93 today and uh, the lows, well right now it's only 80 degrees. So um, and it's humid. So it doesn't help with the weather, but it is what it is. But. Um, currently we got 14 cows that have come in on their own and around 10 cows that are regular visitors so we're about a quarter of the cows um, that are coming on their own that are in the milking herd. I dried six off this morning or this week. I broke down and <laughs> dried a few off early just to kind of help us have a little more free time with this robot and get cows a little more time to rest and come up and visit on their own without any other cows being around or uh, cows in the fetch pen, so hopefully that'll help. I might dry some more off next week just to try to help out with that as well. Maybe that'll get those cows that are early lactation or mid lactation to um, come a little more on their own and have to fetch less. So anyway, we're making progress. Uh, we're only 11 days into this so far, but uh, I'm longing for the day where <laughs> we're doing 70% uh, of the cows coming in on their own and I'm only having to fetch. 20%. Ideally, you'd only have to fetch, when we get this up and going, only fetch in probably 10% of the cows, but it takes a while to get there. They say it's three weeks, three months, three years for a reason, you know, uh, so it's just, it's a process. So anyway, uh, I think that'll be it for this week, guys. We'll see you later.